Hey guys, Tony here, and um, yeah, back. I don't have uh, really anything new to show you. Um, I said a little loud. I uh, I don't know. I do have a few things, and I'm expecting a few a few things in the mail. Um, but overall, I'm slowing down a little bit. I think it's time. Um, I, know, I think I've just kind of gotten to the point where it's like you know. I got a bunch of records that like I've only listened to once and a few still I haven't listened to at all so you know there, com there comes a point where it's like you know why am I going to keep buying stuff if I, don't, if I can't even get to the stuff I'm listening to so I'm just slowing down a little bit even saving a little bit of money too which is always a good thing but uh but you know how this goes so um I'll probably have a new video new finds video at least I don't know, about a week or so maybe. Um, anyway, so I figured what I'd do. Oh, yeah, sorry for my silly video there. I hope Derek, Derek, I seriously hope you don't mind. Uh, I did that. It was just, uh, I just found it so hilarious. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so anyway, hope everybody's well. Um, so seeing as I really don't have much new to show you, uh, I know there's a bunch of threads floating around, and I know I've said I'd get to a couple of them. But, like, to be honest, I felt like making a video, but I don't really feel like thinking too hard right now. You know? Um, so I figured I would just kind of grab a section of my collection and show it. So what I ended up grabbing was basically Pink Floyd and King Crimson. So I'd show what I have uh, from them. Now, I mean, it's not that impressive. It's not like I don't, I don't have complete collections of either band but I figured I'd show what I have so um I'll start with uh let me grab this I'll start with my Sid Barrett which is this here is actually um Sid Barrett and Pink Floyd it's that from Record Store Day of 2011 um an introduction to Sid Barrett which is a fantastic collection um you know, this is a Record Store Day exclusive. Uh, I'm sure many of us know. Really, really nice package, I got to say. Uh, I know a bunch of you out there got this. Really beautifully done. Um, and it just has a fantastic selection of songs. I mean, Arnold Lane, See Emily Play, Apples and Oranges. Excuse me. Matilda Mother. Um, Chapter 24, Bike. Terrapin. Love You, Dark Globe. Here I go, Octopus. Uh, she took a long, cool look. If it's in you, Baby Lemonade, Dominoes. It's just a really great package, and I'm so glad I got this. This was actually the first thing I, I went to uh, when I walked into the store at Record Store Day. Um, I knew where it was, so I, I instantly went for this. This was the thing I wanted. I just really, something about that, that cover, it just really attracted me, and I wanted to get a copy. Um, excellent, though. And then actually, funny thing, maybe a couple weeks later, I came across this, which is uh, Sid Barrett. It's the, uh, the Madcap Laughs and um, Barrett. So this is another two-disc set of his two, al his two solo albums. Uh, I don't have either one of these individually, but, you know, I have this, and I'm thankful for it. Um, I can't remember exactly what I paid for this, but it wasn't much. I got a, an actually a really good price for it. So, really happy to get that. Two classic albums. Um, I think I'm definitely more partial to uh, the Madcap Laughs, but they're both interesting um, and very, very good. So, happy to have that. Um, and now on to the Floyd stuff. Once again, I don't have um, a Saucer Full of Secrets or Piper at the Gates of Dawn. But I do have, as I showed recently, another nice, a nice pair. I always say another nice pair from the... Black Angels, but a nice pair. Really happy to get this as well. So, this is A Saucer Full of Secrets and uh, Piper at the Gates of Dawn, re released together. I guess from the uh, success of like Dark Side of the Moon around that time, they decided to cash in and re release these two albums. And this is an original US press, it's on Harvest. And, uh, yeah, really glad to get this. I love this. You know, I always knew about later Pink Floyd first before I really discovered their 
their early stuff and so happy to get this move a little faster here um, this is a it's not an original but still it's on uh, it's on harvest it's uh, Uma, Uma Goomba how I say that Uma Goomba Pink Floyd very interesting album as well some of it's live you know as we know some of it is kind of uh, almost solo work but not nah, you know it's the band but they it's listed under each band name featuring Richard Wright featuring Roger Waters David Gilmore etc um, very happy to get this uh, at the record store I go to they have an original of this um, it does have the, the I forget what exactly it is there but that record in the picture has the cover and everything but I, they just want too much for it and you know I don't want wouldn't want to spend too much uh, and then I have Adam Hart Mother which I'm really happy to get this too I love that album art just something about it I think I when I got this I said in the video you know it's they tried to go for the most you know non crazy psychedelic album they could think of so they sent a photographer out to take a picture of a cow but there's something so like out there about that too you know that it just suits it and I think by association this photograph just becomes kind of out there you know but yeah another actually fantastic record I really like this one happy to have that again on harvest this one too Obscured by Clouds, not my favorite, but I think it's it's somewhat overlooked. I think it's a, it's a soundtrack. I don't think it gets the credit it deserves, but it's still it's still really good, you know. Not my favorite though. Uh, cool album art, of course, very classic. And then I bought this one recently, Relics. I'm sorry, this is the actual cover. Um, this is a, a U, an original U.S. press on Harvest as well. Um, the original U.K. press is a, I believe, a drawing by Richard Wright of like a, I forget exactly what it is. I could picture it, but I don't know what it is. But yeah, Relics. This is a collection of kind of uh, outtakes, B-sides, a couple unreleased songs, just things like that. So, cool to have that. I don't know how this picture is, so sorry if you can't really see. And of course, I have a uh, a really nice copy of Dark Side, but this is on uh, the Capital EMI, not Harvest. I'd like to get one one of these days, but it's definitely not high on my priority list. I mean, it's a classic album, but do I listen to it much? Not really. I mean. Again, it's one of those things where it's just, how often can you listen to the same thing, you know? I think at one point, especially like growing up on like classic rock radio, I think just about every track was played regularly, so. And we have uh, Metal. Excellent. I remember buying the CD when I was like maybe 15 and or 16 and just listening to it over and over and over. Love this record. It's very, very interesting. And, um... Yeah, excellent. Happy to have this. This is on Harvest as well. Uh, and then we have, whoops, I don't want that stuff to fall down. Uh, Wish You Were Here, of course. Oh, let me take it out of the sleeve. Wish You Were Here. In decent shape, a little ring wear. The record is beautiful. Another iconic cover. I mean, Floyd were just really known for their covers. And then I actually have two copies of Animals. Um, one slightly better than the other, but they're both kind of like, eh. They both play fine, uh, but both of them have a bit of a surface noise, you know? But still, one is, I think the one, yeah, the one in the sleeve is definitely better than the one without. I just haven't gotten rid of this. I probably will soon. Try and make some room. Um, and then, of course, we have The Wall. Love this album. Kind of grew up listening to The Wall, if you believe it. Uh, my father was a big fan of this. I remember the movie being on a lot when I was a kid. And uh, Really nice copy of this. A uh, little bit of something on there, but 
not bad at all. The records are mint, so very cool. And then I have probably one of my most recent Floyd pickups. Uh, this was actually given to me. It was free. As I said, a momentary lapse of reason. I know I am missing a few compilations, and I'm missing uh, the Division Bell, and um, the album that came after. I'm missing a few things, I know that. but And then I have this, uh, an album I haven't spent a lot of time with, but when I did listen to it, I really liked it. <clears throat> About Face, David Gilmore solo. So, very cool. And yeah, always looking to kind of expand my Floyd collection. I would love to have a complete collection by them. I will someday, I suppose. But, yeah, I love Pink Floyd. They're just such a great band, you know. So I guess I'll move on to my King Crimson. Of course, in the court of the Crimson King. It's probably still my favorite by them. Just fantastic album through and through. I love the first few albums by Crimson. Just fantastic. I mean, again, iconic cover. You know, we all know what it looks like. But a show highly recommended. If you don't have this, I, I recommend going out finding a copy. I believe you can still buy a reissue of this if you can't find an original. But a very very nice copy here. And then we have, I believe I'm missing Islands for like their earliest albums. Uh, In the Wake of Poseidon. Again, a really cool record. Not as good as the first, but still very good. The track I really always liked on here when it was a cas uh, Cadence of Cascade. It's like an acoustic tune. I uh, really love that tune, but the whole thing is, is very interesting. And early Crimson. And then we have Lizard. Again, not quite like the first one, but still very good. Uh, it's a gay full. I'll open it up. Really nice copy of this as well. So for a stain here, whatever it is. Love Crimson. Just great band. And these last few are the ones I've gotten most recently. This one is fantastic. Lark's Tongues and Aspic. Great, great album. Just really fantastic. Um, Starless and Bible Black, an album that definitely has grown on me. Um, wasn't that crazy about it when I first got it. Um, the Great Deceiver, Lament, it definitely gets better. The side two on here is just fantastic. So, nice copy of that as well. And these were all, I, I picked these up really cheap. Uh, Red, I can't remember if Starless and Bible Black or Red came first. I know they're really close to each other. 74. And this one is... Let's say... 74. So this is January 74, so I guess this came first. So, yeah. Sorry about that. And then I have uh, USA, a live album. Not the greatest, but so cool to have. And I figured I'd throw this in, just for the hell of it. McDonald and, and, and Giles, just a fantastic, fantastic record. I love this record. Um, I recently got to download this, and uh, I've been listening to it on my iPod like nonstop at work. But yeah, I love this record, and I got to thank Big Star One Thousand for turning me onto this. Just a fantastic record. So, so there you go, guys. Um, hopefully, I'll be back soon to uh, have, show you some new stuff. I do have a few new things that are awesome so um thanks for watching leave me some comments and take care